Okay, so let's assemble the spiral slide to the triangle slide. I know the rest of it is not here. Yours may look different, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Step one, take the spiral slide and using the free rotate tool, orientate it in such a way that in your brain it would make sense that this actually could work. Perfect. Notice it could sort of connect. So I get it orientated first. Next step, I'm going to choose the constraint option. Keep the face-to-face -face mate. I want the face of this edge and the face of this platform face at the spiral slide. It takes a second. There it goes. Ooh, nice. Connected those together. Click apply and cancel. Let's see what I got. I'm liking that. Uh, right now, though, it's stuck face-to-face. -face. Let's go ahead and set it 10 inches from this little lip to this edge. First bring the object above where it needs to be. That helps. Click Constrain. Choose the tiny edge right there. Type in 10 inches, which is the distance you want to be from uh, this edge. Excellent. Click Apply and Cancel. Now it's stuck, but it can slide. Now we're going to use a very interesting tool called the Tangent Tool and it is where you can connect curves to flats. Choose it, select the outer curve. You see how that looks, the outer curve? And select this face right there, okay, boom. What it's done is it's aligned this outer edge with the curve, apply and cancel that. It shouldn't move, and if you look at it from the top view, you'll see how that tangent tool worked. You see how this edge, let me get a better view, this edge is perfectly lined up right here with this edge. I guess my view isn't the best, but you get the idea. All right, that's the spiral slide attachment. If we open it up, you can see I have mate face, edge to edge, 10 inch offset, and a tangent. Those three is what you should look like.